Hello and welcome back to series VMware 101 and in this video we're going to talk about VMware affinity and anti-affinity rule. So let's get started. So we already, I already created a video on the VMware DRS and this video is dependent on the VMware DRS. So if you're unsure about the VMware DRS cluster, uh, please watch my another video on VMware DRS and you'll find more details about DRS and then we'll come back and then come back to this video. So I'm just giving very high level of VMware DRS here is we have a vCenter server and uh, we have host. So just assume this is my vCenter server for a management purpose and we have this three ESXi host. Okay. host A and host B, C and this is being managed, uh, these three hosts are part of the cluster called production cluster and on this production clusters there are many VMs running on it. So as I said in my previous video, uh, these VMs can be motion from host A to B and B to C with the help of DRS. And uh, just assume we have already configured DRS on this cluster. So what DRS does is, based on the CPU and memory requirement, uh, the host utilization, um, let's say 70%, 80%, and 40%. So it will load balance and load balance the host utilization, and it will make sure that all the hosts are used uh, optimizely and uh, all the VMs are getting the required hardware, CPU, and memory, and the network. Uh, so, so DRS will take care of the load balancing, and these VMs will be migrating from one host to another host. But uh, certain VMs, uh, just assume, few VMs out of this are having some database clusters, uh, whether it's a Windows or Linux-based database clusters, and the application team who manage that or the database team who manage that they don't want these VMs all three VMs so just assume you, we have a VM1 VM2 VM3 okay these all are the application VMs and uh, application VMs or uh, database VMs which should not be running on one host because there might be chances that these three VMs can be running on this host. And if this host goes down, host C goes down, all three VMs will be shut down or restarted to the another host. So application will be down for that particular moment or the database can be down. So whether it can be a DB or just assume we have app, app one and app two. So these are the application VMs. So this should also not be on the same host because uh, if host B goes down, the VMs will be restarted with the help of HA, but uh, um, there will be a slight downtime until this VM comes back and application starts working. So, so what is the way where I can specifically say that uh, these three VMs can be run on these three separate hosts, or I can create the rule for anti-affinity so that these VMs may, may not be part of the um, same host. So most of the time we create anti-affinity rule for the VMs so that they are not running on the same host. Uh, like uh, these three, three VMs, I'll create the group of the, uh, I'll create the anti-affinity rule for this three VM and uh, I'll group them in one group. I will call it as a DB anti-affinity rule, anti-affinity rule, A rule and I will group them together and I will set the policy. So I have just two policies, whether I set the affinity policy or I set the anti-affinity policy. And when I set the anti-affinity policy, the group of the VMs will not be on the same host. And uh, just assume I have some uh, vCenter server, okay? Whether it's, it's a management appliance, okay? Or it's a management server, but still it's a VM. So just assume this can be one of this VM. This is from my vCenter server. Okay, and as per the re load requirement, this must be jumping from here to here or here to here. And uh, in case, if I lose the vCenter server, I may not be able to manage all three at one time. 
but the ESXi can be managed individually but I just assume I have 10 plus hosts in this management cluster and uh, that time if I wanted to uh, identify that vCenter service running on which host it will be very difficult for API administrator to log in into the each host and identify whether vCenter is there or not vCenter is there or not or check the old reports or uh, old um, RV tools output to see whether where where the vCenter was running last time but what I can do I can make sure that I can create affinity policy that I can say that vCenter can run on host A and host B only so that even if host A goes down I lose my vCenter as well and if the vCenter doesn't come back I need to go and manually check what's wrong just assume there is a uh, network communication problem with the host or I need to check which host or uh, where my vCenter was running so that so what I can do I can do the mapping between VM virtual machine to the host and make the virtual machine running permanently on that particular host or couple of hosts so I create the affinity rule so this is how we can uh, I can, I, I can uh, elaborate or I can simply uh, explain that how affinity and anti-affinity policy works so affinity rule I can group the VM and I can assign VM to the host and do the mapping or anti-affinity rule I can say that okay VM cannot run on this host or this VMs cannot run on uh, together so that I can separate them with each other so this is how affinity and anti-affinity rule works in conjunction with the DRS cluster I hope you might have learned or you, you have learned something out of it and uh, request you to share subscribe like this video share with your friends subscribe my channel and thank you so much for watching see you in another video bye bye